South Korea's very first homegrown Earth observation satellite has safely made into orbit and is successfully communicating with the ground station. Now, how is this nano satellite a new leap forward to the country's space technology? We're joined by Lieutenant General Retired Tony Bump this morning. Great to have you back. Thank you for the invitation. A South Korean nano satellite was launched into orbit as part of the nation's project to create a satellite constellation by 2027. First off, what is a satellite constellation to begin with? Yeah, a satellite constellation is a group of satellites working together as a system, and it can provide permanent or near permanent functions or coverage of a certain area. This compares to a group of satellites or a cluster of satellites because, again, a satellite constellation is linked between satellites. And with this link, uh, it provides much more effective functions that would be required of those, uh, cluster, uh, those clusters or groups of satellites. Right. And plus, it's the country's first domestically made Earth observation satellite or a nano satellite. Then what significance does that carry? So until now or until we fully have an operational system, We've been uh, dependent on our allies for sensitive information as well as daily uh, information such as weather and navigation functions. But with this capability, we will now have freedom and independence and a lot more flexibility. And hopefully in the future, it'll cost us less. So it has a lot of benefits and potential. Definitely. Like you mentioned, it's a, a group of satellites, which is why it's called Satellite Constellation. And South Korea aims to launch five more satellites into space in June 2026 and also five more in September 2027. I have to ask you, why so many? Is that a case of more the better? Definitely. So with about 11 satellites, we'll be able to conduct functions, especially uh, on the security side, for a certain area monitoring or surveillance every 30, 50 minutes. As a former military man, I would like that to be something in five seconds or 30 seconds intervals. So that would require hundreds of these things. And it, it will neutralize North Korea's ability to conduct surprise attacks, especially a nuclear attack. So it is South Korea's first nano satellite. We also have to talk about how other countries or where other countries are standing when it comes to these Earth observation satellites. Yes, so many countries have already launched uh, small satellites. Mm -hmm. So nano satellites are a category of small satellites. There are about 4,000 of those uh, orbiting the Earth right now. Uh, concerning nano satellites, about 60 plus countries have already had the technology. Uh, and, well, 60 plus countries already have their version of the nano satellites that were launched with the help of other countries, mostly uh, the advanced nations around the world, mm -hmm. uh, including Korea. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we, we, uh, uh, there are about a about 800 uh, nanosatellites in orbit right now, uh, providing navigation, weather reports, uh, astronomical uh, functions, as well as security functions. Right, and these uh, nanosatellites will monitor uh, and take images of the Korean Peninsula and surrounding areas, and possibly uh, including the North Korea part. Now, how is a nanosatellite different from a reconnaissance satellite, the spy satellite? What are their purposes different? How, how are they different? So uh, comparing nanosatellites with, uh, with uh, surveillance satellites is like comparing oranges and apples, so uh -huh. it's different. Uh, nanosatellites is a category of uh, satellites that are usually uh, categorized with mass. Uh, a surveillance satellite is a function of a satellite. So, but in relations to your question, by having this constellation, uh, monitoring North Korean military activity at such a degree and detail that it will be very difficult for North Korea 
to conceal their intent. So the mobile launchers that the North Koreans are using and the secret sites they are using, with these new satellite technologies, uh, it will be very, very difficult for them to uh, conceal their activity. So it increases our ability to deter. And North Korea is uh, yet to launch its own nano satellite, right? Yes, uh, they have a bit to go. Uh, with the new relationship with the Russians, uh, they might be more easily be able to do that. Hopefully that will not be the case. But hopefully the North Koreans will use satellites for peaceful purposes and not for military and aggressive purposes. Right. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and for your time. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too.